It's more Halls of Torment. I wanted to do more of this just after yesterday. I, I played it for a bit and I had a lot of fun with it. I think this is a cool game. Uh, so I want to do more of it before doing some Mario and Luigi. But uh, yeah, hey, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. It's in early access, so... My time with it is going to be fairly limited, but I think this, this game is heading in the right direction. And if it's anything like Vampire Survivors, well... You've earned my deepest gratitude. For the rescue, of course. And I like the animation. such a great team down there, I have a proposition for you. Okay. This well has dried up a long time ago. Now it leads to the very halls you helped me escape. But if you ever happen to find the other end, you might want to drop a trinket into the bucket. Then I hoist it up and make it available to you up here. What do you say? <laughs> Fair enough. And then I get an item stash. You can buy items from the well keeper. Once you've retreated. Ah, okay. Alright. Uh, I'll go Archer. I do really like the aesthetic in this. But yeah, I want to kick back for a bit. And this is just... Something that, whilst I do have to pay attention, that's much like Vampire Survivors, where I can kind of kick back for a bit. Uh, I'll go Crit. I don't know what those things are about. I have to find out. Long fingers. <laughs> it's the best passive name. been wanting to get udon for the past few days and uh, when I went today again closed so I don't know if they're taking a break or something but every time I play like a dragon and I see that food I want it more uh, go that I will right, we'll get to tomorrow speed. I will try not to go over the top with the voices in Mario and Luigi. I think... <laughs> I woke up this morning and I had a little bit of a sore throat, but it's gone. I think it was just a toad voice that just, uh, I may have done it a bit too, uh, too harshly. You might not be able to tell, but the microphone does a good job at, uh, making loud noises not so loud. So, I think I just went too loud on the toad voice. But th that's the only way I can do the voice, is I have to be extra loud. There's this unholy strength. I think the arch is cool, but just seems to struggle a bit more later. Maybe I've just been unlucky. Go 
a crit. I'm not dodging these well. Uh, I'll go movement speed. We'll see if I get the power that I want to get. That kind of works with movement speed. Yeah, okay. It increases with movement speed, that's all we want. I've been trying to figure it out, but there's something this game reminds me of, and it's not Diablo. Like, Diablo is the obvious one, but there's another game where I feel like, from once upon a time, I played something that had a look that was sort of like this. I don't know. I, I just could not put my finger on it. But it's not Diablo. It's just one of those things that, like, just this weird sense of deja vu or something being recognizable. Maybe it's just the aesthetic. this a little more. Alright, I'm just going to start moving to that thing. I want to find out what it is. I got to balance moving with, like, leveling up. Uh, attack speed, main weapon. What is this? Oh, it looks like it's just a magnet. Uh, we'll do that. I don't need health right now. Wait, gold skull. Is it? Oh, yeah. Attack speed. I kind of wish that would pop up a tool tip about what it did. Because I had to hover over there and sort of waste it a little to find out what it was. Like, maybe the first time. Not every time. Uh, I'll do movement speed. Because it makes the balls go around quicker.
crit, health, attack speed, attack speed, for sure. Orbit speed, orbit distance damage. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. I don't know if I like the orbit distance. I kind of like it being close. But I guess we'll see. Probably doesn't increase it that much. Additional attacks. I'll do multi hit. I'm hoping I get the piercing one. If I get the piercing one, this is going to be a bit more comfortable. Critical hit, attack speed, go attack speed. Attack speed, I'll pick it. Yeah, there it is, pissing. All right, all right, all right. I think it's like almost required. Because once the crowds start getting big, like I will not be able to deal with them properly. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna have a drink of water. I mean, if I'm going crit, there's no point in getting the bottom one. This vampire survivors in the Diablo skin a lot. It's a little bit different. Because the way vampire survivors works, you get six skills and that's it. So, like, this has. You have skills, so there's your six skills again, but I only have one, but then these are just improving my character. Um. So it's like. 
you get more upgrades in this one, I feel. And the, it's not as chaotic as Vampire Survivors. But then also there's this, is like, you actually have a loadout, like Diablo. So. And the characters play like, the thing with Vampire Survivors is a lot of overlap with characters. I love that there's so many characters in Vampire Survivors, but like if I play, um, you know, a character that looks like a barbarian or, you know, a warrior type character, I can get a bow attack on that character, and it, it's cool. But it's not like this where, like, I am playing the archer, and the archer only does just archer stuff. So it's like, you're playing into the archetype a bit better here. But yeah, it, it's, it's in the genre. I don't even know what you call it. <laughs> Some streamers have call it, called it the garlic. The garlic like. Just anything that is like uh, the game that has garlic in it. Yeah, I mean, it's in early access. There's not a whole lot to it right now, but, but I've been recommended this like a bunch of times by quite a few people, and I do enjoy this sort of thing. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it's gonna run its course pretty quickly. Oh boy. It has a more focused aesthetic as well. Uh, this one. These are like traps. Didn't I have a suggest game redemption before? Yeah. I mean, the problem with that is just, like, I have to make a, a game that I already have. It's like, I don't know. It's easier for me to say no when it's a redemption, when it's not a redemption. To be honest, I also cut it out when, like, the Minecraft thing didn't really go down well. I was just like, alright, I'll just... I'll be open to suggestions, but then it's easier for me to say, nah, that game's not for me. What if someone gifts me a game? It doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna play it. Um. I've said this a couple times recently. It's just like time is so limited and I have to balance between what I want to personally play, what's coming out, and then what people wanna see. Cause I wanna cater to all three of those things. Like I wanna play stuff I wanna play. I want to play new things as they come out. And then, of course, I do want people to feel like they're being listened to as well. And if they know a game that I would enjoy, then I, I listen to that. It might not happen right away, but I do try to get to it. Like, Banjo-Kazooie was one of those games that I've just always heard about. And people said they wanted to see it. Same with Donkey Kong, too, so... Well, the, the, the problem, it, here's the problem with what happened with Minecraft, was that I played it by myself. That's the first problem.
But the other thing, it's just like... People are busy. That's the thing. And I just... I have to, I have to organize enough stuff at work, and it's just, I feel like, and I'm not trying to take a shot at anyone here, right, like, don't misinterpret this, but, I just don't want to be, because it's my stream, so I obviously have to do it, I just don't l want to chase something else up, you know what I mean, like, I start something, and then I have to be like, alright, are we doing this, you know, on this day, are we doing it on this day, hey, are you guys all still cool to do it on this day, it's just like, when it starts feeling like work, that's when I don't really have as much fun. And everyone that I hang out with is, is busy with their own stuff. So it's just like, if I was to do something in a group setting, it just requires planning, organization, and, and you know, making sure people can turn up. And I just... I don't want to do that at the moment. It gets especially harder because my audience is, like, split between Europe and America. So, you know, I have friends on on both sides of the world. So it, it really does make it difficult. But I like, I like it when it's more of a casual thing. Like, you know, with Diablo, Lelo popped in when he could. And I didn't have to organize anything with him. He was just, he'd just turn up and be like, hey, you want to play? I'm like, yeah, man, let's play. So stuff like that I'm more open to. The problem with Minecraft, I feel like, is you have to have a group of people that you don't have to chase up and is reliable to be like, yeah, on this day we play Minecraft, and it's just like, uh, I would never ask that of anyone. Fall Guys with Lola was fun. Yeah, and again, that was... That was really informal. It was just like, I'd boot it up, and then if people wanted to play, they would play. So, stuff like that, I'm, I'm fine with, because it's there's no commitment required. It's not like, oh, progress. There's no progress, because people haven't turned up. I would like to do more stuff with people, it's just... That's just life, man. <laughs> if I didn't have a full-time job, I think I... I would probably, like, have more energy to try and organize stuff and be on top of things in that way, but it's just, I don't want it to feel too much like work. a little bit of one attack speed oh but that's a helm right yeah hang on. yeah do that oh my god yeah if it's too much work, it's less fun. Yeah, and uh, look, I don't mind putting in the effort for stuff. It's just... I think when it comes to the stream thing, it's just... I kind of don't like leaving things unfinished, so to speak. It's like, I try my best that if I try to start something that I, I do get through it in the end. Like, Bridge Constructor, as much as I had fun with it, it was like, I, I was I was just feeling horrible that that playthrough was so scattered and it took a year to finish. And 
when you play when you do a playthrough of a game with more than one person you're more likely to run in that into that scenario where it just takes longer or maybe things just fall off for a while and it's just when it's off stream i don't care about it it's just more of a like i don't know maybe it's weird i just don't like leaving things unfinished when it comes to the stream content unless i'm just like look i'm really not having a good time or oh this is as far as i'm gonna take it because i don't need to prove anything Yeah, bridge construct the portal, that one. It, it took a year to finish. I'm gonna have to go long fingers on this one. electrified orbs again oh no they're electrified again no it just upgrades them okay so now they're tier 2 I've never gotten tier 2 this is the first try and head down to the well and sell my item before I die. Um, doing base health, just make sure I have a bit more health. Oh, man. That's probably the best I've done with that character. That was fun. Um, I have 2,000 gold. Yeah, I mean, pick up, pick up range is probably like... I'm just going the core ones to begin with. Alright, we'll do this. Big cleave. I'm gonna try this. Let's see if it works. Since my hammer build in Diablo 4 got just nerfed into the ground. I'm going to try and do the same thing here. I mean, it's a sword, not a hammer, but it, the, the concept is the same.
that one. I still haven't gotten through all the games my brothers have gifted me. I mean, that they, they don't tune into the stream on a regular basis. Like, they pop in every now and then, but, like... On, on the topic of, like, what if I got gifted a game? I'm still working through the games I've been gifted. It's, it's been years. focus on on this cleave okay wait what is this fires projectiles in the direction you're facing damage is reduced chance to apply fragile that, i want to see what this is oh it's like it's almost like javelins that's pretty neat Additional projectiles, area, ability, attack speed, health, block strength. Alright, um, yeah, I mean. The same school. Oh, okay, because of the projectile thing, I throw three every now and then. Seems to be working. I see red numbers, red numbers is good. Uh, movement speed, pick up radius, health, parry block. Uh, I'll do block. Just to set up for later. I'm not gonna focus on movement speed at all. And just make it a thing where I just block and regen. Good a choice that is, but uh, crit bonus. Uh, 
Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Oops. If there's one bit of feedback I would give is like the sound effect we're taking damage, it just reminds me too much of opening a soda can. Uh, crit damage cone whip. Thing seems to be immune to that vulnerability thing. Fragile. Whatever it's called. Strength, pick up range. Pick up range is a good one. That one is excellent for this class. Then I don't have to invest in it, it's just like extra long fingers. Uh, additional attack. Main weapon attack speed, cone wet. I'll do multi hit. I think that affects the javelins. It looks like it does. Scary now. Uh, range and cone wit again. No, you know what? Ah, you have to do it. It's just because it does two stats. It's can't ignore it. Speed, area cone size. I'll do air. Like, I just want to make this the biggest and longest cone. I 
monster projectiles area. Alright. red numbers. Oh shit. Attack speed. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'll do the orbs. Wait, increase of movement speed, not second movement speed. Multi hit increases the attack speed. I got multi hit. All right, like more little mini projectile now. Uh, health, block strength, movement speed. Do health and block strength. Plus one to piercing. How does that work? Javelins, maybe? I don't think the sword would be affected by it, because it already does, does that. <laughs> it's a cleave. Damage, attack speed. Oh, that's just a no-brainer. Okay, difficulty increase. Health regen, attack speed, health regen. I wonder if it counts as like a double swing. It looks like it does. Sometimes I'm seeing like a double swing, so it does affect the normal attack. Uh, base health and regen. Alright, do that. Uh, health, defense, pick up range, 
just go base damage now. It does indirectly affect crit. Introducing defensiveness now. Uh, block strength. Nearly that, nearly that. Okay. Block strength. Every 15 seconds you summon a skeleton to fight for you. They will perish after... Necromancer? Oh, that's a tough choice. No, I'm going for, like, the crit. That's what, that's what I've been building around. The Necromancer thing seems really cool, but I get the feeling just having the attack that just hits like a truck is probably the better call here. There's probably going to be a Necromancer class, I'm looking at that, which will be interesting. Health, lock strength, base health, defense. Hey, oh, there we go. Checks are for defense. The block value equals. Alright, okay, I see. So one takes defense into account and the other one doesn't. So one is damage mitigation when you don't block, and the other one is just, like, chance to block. So, getting both is, is fine. You could probably do a build where you focus on one over the other. Piercing. I've dealt 10 million damage just in title since I started playing this game.
Oh my god. I'm fucked. Oh. Um. Health regen. That sucked. Too many enemies. Ugh. Hopefully all those points I put into... I'm putting into attack speed now. down a little since I have to aim for this thing okay it's down uh multi-hit I'm going to increase movement speed. I think I, I need a little bit of it now. I don't want to focus too much on it, but now I, I do need it. speed. I just haven't been able to stack one. It's like very spread out build. I'm screwed. to try and kill this thing at least. I killed it, but it dropped nothing. Oh, what the fuck is this? This is new. <laughs> That's the furthest I've been. I think I needed to put a little bit into movement speed sooner. Uh, alright.
Just thinking what I want to put into. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Movement speed. I'll just do movement speed. It's probably the most important one. Alright, let me have a drink. I'll do a couple more runs and then we can move on to Mario and Luigi. Uh, attack speed. More overtime. Oh. Yeah, I can be up pretty early, huh? Get a coffee. Uh, uh, I won't go crit with this. You like the money, but getting up at 5 a.m. sucks. Yeah, I know. I mean, I used to have to get up that early to get into the city at 9 in the morning. So whilst not overtime, I can I can definitely relate. If you have to do that shit every day, it, it really just drains you. Luckily, it's three steps away. Yeah, I had to travel in, and then I would get home at like seven or eight o'clock at night. It just was not great. Go the long fingers. Why not? Yeah, I mean, it's just another work day. Not really a whole lot to say. I didn't want to go crit, but... Hey, there's a book here. What is this? The trails of blood led us into the darkness, where two morbid shrines awaited. Each of them demanded a sacrifice in exchange for a fragment of a powerful token. The token of pain, which betrayed its old master and would yield us the power to finally end his atrocious reign. Okay. I think it's just lore. It doesn't look like it wants me to do anything. Guess I'm going crit. <laughs> I didn't want to go crit, but it just keeps got giving me up. Now I have no choice. Duration effects 
perfect situation of abilities. Yeah, I mean, I do like this ability for this. Projectile's main weapon, alright, do that. I'm going for the scroll early on. I think I just waited too long and I just got swarmed last time. Uh, movement speed, health regen, sounds good. Percent attack speed main weapon. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, that appeared out of nowhere. Uh, I'll go that. The traps. Duration, health, attack speed, crit. Alright, crit. It didn't drop anything! <laughs> it didn't give me anything. Alright, uh... For memes and going movement speed, just seeing... Maybe if those, those orbs move really quickly, it might help, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Boss. Uh, attack speed, ability. Hmm. Oh, this is really what I want. I'll... I might just, uh... I'll get it, I'll get it. We'll see if whatever it does. Main weapon. Thank you. Additional attacks, plus one to piercing. That one is probably the most important thing on the archer. Uh. 
extra damage for every missing health point. Pick up range, attack speed, attack speed. Projectiles, movement speed, crit chance, crit damage. I'll do projectiles. I don't know if a multi-shot thing is like viable. Movement speed, base health, that's a good one. I think this is definitely a lot more focused than Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors reaches a certain point where like you're too, you're just that strong that you don't have to watch yourself too much, whereas in here I feel like I have to pay more attention. Crit chance, speed. No, we want speed. We want the orbit speed. More spin. I feel like I have to pay more attention. Crit, da, 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 duration, uh, yeah. I'm trying not to spread myself too thin, I'm trying to do different things. Uh, duration, movement speed. It's nice to be able to move quickly. Uh, okay, regen. This thing has already almost lost its shield. I've been keeping it an equal distance. Oh, nice. Uh, Multi-hit additional attacks. That's what we want. Okay. Uh, ring, blades. I just got multi-hit, so let's do that. Uh, 
Hey, Gammy, how's it going? Yes, that one. Attack speed. Of this. <laughs> I'm gonna get swarmed. I just ate a half chicken, half man, jealous a little. Uh, attack speed. This had beef, broccoli, rice. It's a very simple stir fry thing. It's fine. Nothing fancy. Movement speed. Thank you. size, pick up range, nice defense, yeah. just a little bit more base defense, just attacking hits isn't catastrophic later. I'm definitely gonna go the orbs this time. It's just been asking me to upgrade them for a while. That was easy. Uh, ring blade again. Uh. Made quesadillas for dinner. Ugh, I haven't had those in a while. They're good. Very simple to make. But they, uh... They're quite good. Crit chance, block defense, health capacity defense. Alright, well, crit chance it is. 
kind of eh. It's like only 10%, but... Yeah, I think less duration makes sense. Just make him do more. speed, thank you. attention now. This seems to be working. It, feel, it feels better than what I had before. I don't know. I think movement speed is definitely the way to go here. Which makes these balls just like a no-brainer. Oh, oh, pissing. Alright, even more pissing. game be played on mobile uh it's a early access game so i i doubt it's i have no idea but given it has still a lot of development to go i would doubt it's i assume there's probably a plan to release it on mobile if it's going to compete with vampire survivors Less a chat. <laughs> As, uh, starting to get a little crowded on screen. A little. Just, just a little bit crowded. These ring blades, I've, I've leveled up quite a bit, so I'm hoping they're doing a lot for me. There we 
go. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, come on. Don't get too penisy. Okay. Uh, adds two projectiles. Deals lightning damage based on their movement speed. No, but this is good, like slow effect. Um, like now they're gonna slow enemies down, that's what I want. Piercing. Oh. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was not good. Too much. Too much. Too much. Way too much. Is there health? There's no health, so I'm screwed. Uh, let's see that. Yeah. 21 minutes. That's, that's not bad. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the game's cheap. It's like $7.50 Australian, which is what Vampire Survivors cost me, so... All right, we'll do one more with the uh, the swordsman. I might just go like the cheap ranks of everything. Ugh, eight gold off. That's okay. I don't... I don't want to do this level. This level's hard. For now, just the haunted caverns. Alright, let's see what direction I take this in. Attack speed. Try and focus on certain stats, not crit. Okay, we'll do health regen. I'll try not to spread myself out too thin on this one. Vulnerability. Um, attack speed. Mm. 
I'm going straight for the ability as well. I'm dropping orbs. Health, defense, crit, defense, crit, main weapon, crit, range. Um, I wish I could see my trait so then I know what I've gone. Guess that one because it's like two stats. Good timing. Multi-hit. Damage is reduced for every enemy. I'm gonna go like this. I haven't tried this build. Cone with strength. Now we're doing... Like I'm focusing on now a very small area but doing a lot of damage. Lightning build. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's slow and lightning should work. Okay, uh, damage and attack speed sounds good. Health, crit chance, crit. Okay, well, that one. I don't want to grab crit, but this gives me range, so I'll take range. Crit is just like, I guess, an added bonus. Range, block strength, crit. Alright, go rings. Yeah, so this is an interesting one, because it's like, lightning reduces your attack speed on the ability. But then I'm getting stuff that increases my attack speed, so it should offset it, I think, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see. That's what I was thinking, but... Uh, block strength, move, movement speed. I'm not going to neglect movement speed this time. Okay, long fingers, why not?
uh, crit range block strength. Alright, so I'm going to go block. Just stack block and see how it goes. I just want to see if stacking one thing works well. Damage and attack speed. I'll take that. range, defense, and block strength. Um, again, the pickup range. So then I don't have to bother with it anymore. It's just like, it's there. It's good. Uh, crit, no thank you. Base defense and crit. Alright, block strength. I think this is what it does, is it like tempts you with other stats that you don't have. So then you kind of don't focus on one thing and I guess your character just is a bit jack of all trades but master of none. So I'm going to try and avoid that and let's just see how it goes. Even if it means taking the thing that like doesn't give me as much. See that gives me crit. Don't want crit. Alright, we're gonna take additional attack. Multi hit is good. That's just a good one to have inherently. Attack speed. Crit stun range. No. I get it. It's like you go one or the other. It like hits more often, but then it doesn't crit, or it hits less, but it crits. So since the first one I got was hit less and crit, that's what I'm gonna go. I get it. It's like one is more frequent, the other one's like a harder hit. Uh, I'm gonna go attack speed for me. Damage, crit, health and movement speed, just damage. Health and movement speed would have been nice, but I think I need to focus on damage. Range, defense, all right, health and movement speed. Now I'll get it.
Okay, I'll go. I'll go range because I already have a little bit of range anyway. Doesn't hurt to make this reach a bit longer. Here lies the test. How long does this take to kill? It's definitely not going as quick as what the archer was at this point. Uh, range block. Okay, uh, I'll go block. I do have movement speed, so these orbs will work well. Uh, attack speed, and no, we don't want that. Uh, let's go movement speed. I have to get the one that says crit up, but then attack speed down. Otherwise, what I'm doing is like counterproductive. Damage and attack speed. I'll take that. Big blades. Crit, cone width, base health, block strength, orbit speed. I'll do block strength and base health, just tank up. I have a lot of health. Health, uh, crit, base defense, base def- uh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go with health. Seven, seven, seven. That's considered lucky. That's how much health I have. Lucky sevens. Uh, 
Base defense, base health, go range. Okay. defense, crit, pick up radius. Alright, we'll go the orbs this time. Attack speed, defense, block strength, crip. Alright, defense and block. I already got gloves, so. Let's just make ourselves tankier. Uh, movement speed, cone width, movement speed. I'm trying to focus on. Just a few main stats and see how it goes. See if it comes out stronger. how long I've been playing for, like, in this run. But it feels good so far. Alright, doggo pack again. Attack speed. Uh, no. 
like a kind. Yeah, I guess that one's the best one to grab. Even though it's crit, it's just like, I get cone with with it, and that's useful. I keep getting this one. Uh... Go block. Got it. Uh, yep. Adds two blades, additional blades. Apply slow. Alright, let's go. Upgraded blades. Uh, blade size. I'm gonna strategically move. This is the power it usually goes to shit. I guess we'll see. Uh, can crit orbs reference. Additional attacks. All right, we'll get additional attack. Shit's getting real. Okay, here we go. Power! Uh, I'll go a little bit of health regen. This, this feels good. This run feels good. Okay. So last time I died. Oh, it's a necromancer. Ooh. Okay, this is scary. Holy shit. Uh, 30% damage main weapon, yes please.
This is hard. I can't get close enough to her. Range. This will probably help a lot. So hard. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Holy shit. Distract me! Don't care about your achievements right now. Okay. Mental break. Ugh. Speed. Go, orbs, go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Get it. Killing an enemy has a chance to give you a health point. 5% damage. For each enemy in your pickup range. Oh. Shit, that's. I'm sorry, that's just. Like, if I'm getting swarmed, that just seems ridiculous. My pickup radius is pretty big. Pickup radius, yeah, like. Now I feel like I should scale pickup radius because it's just like. That thing is gonna give me more damage for things that aren't even close to me. That's just ridiculous. Okay, this is the run. Lucky seven. Lucky seven. I feel like I should go to the well and try and transport this thing back to the top. Just would be like a smart idea. Just that.
Okay, this is the well. There's only two minutes left. Okay, hold on. This is gonna go to shit. I am putting this in the well. Like, I know this is gonna reduce my damage, but, like, that item is insane. And being able to buy that? Hell yeah. Even if I don't win the run, like, huge pickup. scary. This is the end of the run, huh? You know what? I'm glad I sold that amulet. I'll put it back because that amulet would have no effect here. This is just one enemy. Okay, so movement speed is mandatory from what I'm seeing. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm playing so horribly. Obviously, this is supposed to be like, if you're not ready, you're just fucked. This movement speed is, is insane. He just moves way too quickly. Like, I'm barely dodging. Still, I mean, this is counted as a success. Like, half an hour is the... The win. It's just whether or not I survive this, which I, I doubt. Yeah, okay. Still, good run. I made it to half an hour. The run doesn't go beyond that. Ugh. I have to focus so much. Alright. Oh, hello, who are you? Cleric. Oh, no, this is a whole new character. I got a new character called the Cleric. Okay. Um...
Okay. I, I don't have enough to buy that item. But when I do, this is an um, this is an amazing item that I just managed to pull out of there. So happy with that. Okay. That'll do it for this. Alright. Uh we're gonna take a small intermission chat and then we're gonna we're gonna continue Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, so give me a couple of minutes to set that up and uh yeah we'll we'll continue that. But if you are here for uh this Halls of Torment thing. Thanks for tuning in. Especially if you're watching later on YouTube. Consider clicking buttons for algorithm purposes. Jeez, persons. Purposes. Hi. <laughs> Alright. See you, YouTube.